So today we're making pumpkin pie and I will tell you what you need. So the first thing is a half a cup of vanilla almond breeze and then you're gonna need one can of any kind of 100% pure pumpkin. Do not get pumpkin pie mix. It is a lot of calories and that's <laughs> that's for something else and then you're going to need one third cup of Splenda and one sprinkle of nutmeg literally just one sprinkle and two teaspoons of cinnamon and one teaspoon of pumpkin pie uh, spice and then a three quarters cup of egg and you're gonna spray your pie pan with some Pam or other spray and preheat your oven to 400 degrees. So you just literally pour everything that I showed you into a mixing bowl and mix it all up very well so it looks like this. And then we are going to pour it into our pie plate. Okay, so now your pie should look like this. This was originally a Weight Watchers recipe, but I switched it up a little bit. And now we are going to bake it for 15 minutes at 400 degrees, and then turn the oven down to 375 and bake for 35 to 40 minutes. So I baked mine for 15 minutes at 400 and then 38 minutes at 375. And it should look kind of like this when it comes out of the oven. The sides are crusty. And now we are gonna let it cool. Our pie is now finished and I have cut it into four slices. And each slice is zero points zero so I added this in the recipe builder about three times just to make sure each slice is zero points if you ate the entire pie which I wouldn't suggest but you could um, if you ate the entire pie it would be one point because it does it adds up when you have more than one slice so anyway, but it is a zero point pie. This slice is zero points and I've added fat-free Cool Whip, which is one tablespoon of zero points. And it is delicious. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please give me the thumbs up if you like this video and you wanna see more zero point foods recipes and I will see you next time. Love you, bye.